Every grower's dream is to produce big, healthy crops. But sometimes, despite their best efforts, plants just don't grow as big or as healthy as they'd like. The issue might be CO2, one of the most important elements in photosynthesis. Too much or too little CO2 can throw off plant growth. The trick is finding the sweet spot, but that can be tricky. Luckily, we have an easy way to optimise CO2 levels in your grow room and accelerate plant growth. Keep watching to learn how to dial in CO2 for your biggest yields yet. Plants need both oxygen and CO2 to photosynthesize. They absorb CO2 and release oxygen throughout the day. With the ProLeaf range, you're in full control of your grow room's CO2 levels. The ProLeaf controller, CO2 regulator and burner ensure precise CO2 dosing. This prevents waste and keeps your plants thriving. The ProLeaf CO2 controller makes CO2 management easy, with easy to use dials that let you set your parts per million or ppm. These ensure your grow room maintains the ideal CO2 levels for your plants. The controller uses an infrared sensor to monitor CO2 levels. When they drop too low, this automatically activates the ProLeaf CO2 burner to dose your grow room with more CO2. The ProLeaf CO2 burner creates CO2 by burning propane. Alternatively, a CO2 tank connects directly to the ProLeaf regulator, eliminating the need for burning. This is the best option with growers concerned with burning propane in their grow room. For even more precision, pair that with the ProLeaf CO2 regulator for more precise dosage of CO2. We recommend only using this controller in sealed grow rooms. If your grow room has an extraction system, then CO2 isn't going to get to your plants, it's just going to get sucked away. Now over to Ian to show you how to set up the ProLeaf system in your grow space. Cheers Rob. What I want to go through is the CO2 products you have in front of you. So what we have is a ProLeaf CO2 controller. It uses infrared to measure the CO2. So the sensor is super, super accurate. This will control the parts per million in your room, either by injecting it with a CO2 bottle or by burning propane and turning CO2 from a gas as it burns the oxygen off. Couple of things about the controller it basically will control either the propane bottle or the CO2 bottle because there's a plug in there where either of these connect to it. It's got a thing called fuzzy logic inside it. And what the fuzzy logic does, a lot of time when you're running CO2, the CO2 bottle can basically be really, really cold. The gas can be compressed and be really cold into the valve. And what it can do is freeze the valve up and basically stop working. So what the fuzzy logic in this product does, it basically injects CO2 into the room and then stops and injects it and stops and injects it and stops. So short a burst of CO2 stops the valve from freezing up. You should be running a grow room above a thousand parts per million if you're using LEDs or you're using really, really high powered LEDs. It's about 400 parts per million out there at the moment. So outdoors in a normal area, you're running about 400 parts per million. Back in the day, back in dinosaurs days, everything grew massive. All the leaves on plants were massive. That means the plants and the animals around them were really big as well. That's because they had a PPM of around 15 to 2000. So that's parts per million CO2 in the atmosphere which plants absorb in, in the daylight. So they absorb CO2 in the daylight. They put oxygen out at night. So when we're trying to increase the production of the plant matter or increase, increase the flowering, we need to add more CO2 into the room. This is one of the only ways to do it professionally, either by using a CO2 bottle or a burner. There's a lot of CO2 bags around, which basically produce a little bit of CO2. I'm not saying we don't add anything realistically, but if you've got a fan and filter combo in there, they're dragging the heat out of the room. It's not a closed loop environment. Those bags are giving such little CO2 off, they're having no impact whatsoever. Turn your fans off, you can see the CO2 build up, but nobody really runs a room with a light in there without the fans on, so those bags don't produce very much CO2. These produce an abundance of CO2. If you're running anything over like a thousand uh, U-Mall in a room, so your LEDs are pushing more than a thousand, you really need to be pushing your PPM of your CO2 past the 1200 mark to utilize that much power from the LEDs. If you're running less, power like less than a thousand it's always good to add co2 into room but it's not essential because your plants will use the co2 in the room running at 400 parts per million you'll get a good result i would only be adding co2 if everything else is absolutely perfect so your nutrient regime is perfect your environment's perfect you've got the best lights you can afford everything's bang on 
and you want to push your plant just a little bit more, then it's time to add CO2. If you're using a burner, the unit comes with the uh, little controller valve and the pipe work. You've got a flange there and a nut. Screw it all together, connect it to your propane. The unit will ignite. That will be burning the CO2 into the room. It will go into stable mode, so there'll still be a flame in there, but it will be on pilot mode. When you need to bring your PPM up, your basically your gas will start to burn, your, your, your flames increase, burning that oxygen off and creating CO2 naturally. We didn't used to like putting burners in rooms because you already had a lot of heat with the HPS lamps in there. Now you've got CO2 in the room and you want to increase your temperature, you're running LEDs. So when the LEDs aren't giving you the temperature it needs to be running at, now you can put a propane bottle in there, get the heat up using propane, get you up to about 28 degrees where you need to be, 28, 30 degrees, but really increasing that PPM up to about 1200 mark. Do a fail safe, if you fall over, anything happens, they automatically turn off. Some people don't have uh, I don't like having the naked flame in there. We've never had any issues, but if you don't like the naked flame, go to the CO2 bottle wise. If you don't want to keep changing the bottles, put a propane bottle in there. It will last absolutely ages and you'll get the heat up plus the bonus of having higher parts per million of CO2. So that's it for the CO2 from Global Air Supplies. You've got the controller, which will control the amount of CO2 into your room. Got your fuzzy logic if you're using a CO2 bottle. It's got your infrared CO2 uh, sensor, really high class sensor. Connect this to a propane bottle to get heat in and lift your PPM using a burner. If you don't like the burners, you can use the CO2 bottles, connect your valve up there, connect it with a controller. That will inject CO2 into your room. Again, getting you above the 1200 mark, which basically makes the plants really thrive. You have got to be running higher u so you've got to be running plus the 1,000 u to really get the most out of CO2. But realistically, you will see a difference just by using CO2 in the room. So that's it. Back to Rob in the studio. As Ian showed, the ProLeaf system helps maintain the optimum CO2 levels for a healthier and faster plant growth. If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, send it to your nan, and catch us next time for more great content from Gas.